people are actually using harmless as a shield to murder other people's souls. This is a tactical psychological warfare strategy. Aggressive decency to murder other people's souls. Aggressive decency. They will virtue signal harmlessness, humility, being nice, all these subtle moral judgments, and they'll do it aggressively, passive aggressively, silencing you, taking up all the space, filibustering, monologuing, hijacking your attention by promising a simple explanation and then diving to a story here, and then diving to a story here. The pattern is so pervasive, I can't just think it's just a one-off pattern. And a lot of that is from conflict-averse academics, therapists, rescuers, who are, I'm going to argue, they're feeding off people's souls. They're not just harmless, they're parasitic, they're evil. And if you buy into that niceness and you just see it as, oh, they just don't want to be initiated and whatever, they're going to feed off you. That's why you feel angry. That's why you're fearful. That's why you get confused. That's why you follow their traps. And it's a way of paralyzing action. If they give you a bunch of stuff that leaves you more confused and you can't take an action tomorrow or right now, that's the goal. Making you harmless. Making the target incapacitated by numbing them. If they give you comfort and take away your judgment and you take less action, that's paralysis. That's an injury. That requires you to bite back and cause some pain on them and get on your space.